This is the part two of the camshaft installation. Okay, time to get our alcohol, 99% or brake cleaner. I don't want to put brake cleaner here right now. So I'm just going to clean this a little bit so I can make my my gasket. So we're going to use the same thing we've been using to make gaskets. There we go. One will be right here. And the other one will be on the back right here. There are two guides here, but they technically are inside the engine, so we don't, that won't bother us. We'll have a gasket right there, and we need to make a nice bit in here. We need to be sure that we put some sealant in here and in here we don't need to worry inside here because there will be a gasket all right so let's get this open after a while the thing got clogged and uh, it doesn't work anymore so so we do like this little bit in here And in here. And in here. It doesn't need to go too deep because uh, the, the engine, that's the inside of the head, so it doesn't matter. And what we're going to do now, we just be sure that this is good there where it's going to have the little. Uh, things and I'm gonna get a piece of paper and my glove has oil in it a little bit so I might do like just like this so I'm gonna spread with my fingers go there you go so here's safe this is not going to spread to the inside this is like this then put this thing there Just be sure I didn't touch my crankshaft, my camshaft with that. There you go. Put inside the guides and now put the bolts on. So there you go. One, which is this side here. Two. So I 
Hang on. That one is having a hard time to get in there. So this one is fine. This one having a hard time. This one having a hard time. I'm gonna swap them. I'm sure I put them on the right spot, but maybe guy did not. No. Yeah. All right. Yep. It's great. Be sure that you don't force those screws down because if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Something is wrong. This one might have problem in the tread. Yeah. I'm going to tap this thread really quick. Uh, M8125, which was the same as the other ones. Yep, that's it. So I'm going to get this guy here. Uh, I'm going to post the link of those things because uh, every time I need it, I want people to post the links and and took me a while to find it so there was one problem this screw here seemed to be too small so the other ones were bigger I thought the small was here but apparently this is not from here so I had a brilliant idea I'm gonna take my original engine take the valve cover and remove that one screw and put in here apparently it's a T30 so it's like a little star. So you put in there. I just use a breaker bar. Uh, you turn left. It unscrew it. So I'm going to unscrew that. Uh, this has the magnet. And tells what the position of the camshaft is. So I'm going to remove that. And store somewhere. Before I go to my other car and steal the part I need. Let me just show you how it looks like. There you go. It's just that. Mission almost accomplished. So I managed to take the cover out of the the engine that is in the Eclipse. So look at this one. All right, and then look at that one. But not just that. Look at this screw here. <laughs> <laughs> the guy just went to Lowe's and got a screw and just put in there so you have the whole engine and one screw from Lowe's so what I'm after here I'm gonna take one screw out of here let me see if I can make it a little lighter um, there you go look at the screw how nice it looks <laughs> anyway uh, I'm gonna take one of those screws out and put in here and we are good to go so this is what I had and this is what I got so you can see there's a little bit of difference right and that's exactly what we need in here um, I might need to uh, redo the tread um, I'll do really quick I'm not gonna bother to video that I had a few problems here first I didn't had I didn't have the right screw this was too tiny and then uh, let me zoom in a little bit then there you go uh, the screws I got I got it wouldn't go all the way to the end in here so probably I'll cut that first assemble that I've done and because I, I put uh, the ultra gray in here, right? Because it needs to have a little bit in here, a little bit in here and here. So I'm going to put that part of the video now. And then we're going to go back to this here. And 
back to business. Uh, I just hand tight or snug tight and now we are going to torque. So this is a 21 torque. So we are going to torque 7. So we have here 10. This is 10. So if I go back, it is 7. So we are going to do it in three different steps. So let's do 7. Let's do this one now. 7. 7. 7. You gotta do it slow. I'm going fast, but it's no good. So now 14. Because if you go fast, when it clicks, you keep going a little further. 14. 14. And finally, 21. So now we have 20. And one. And same thing. All right. So, just so you know, I use this here to tap these screws. And I use this here to tap one of those holes, which was this guy here. Because I needed to um, get the tread, redo the tread. So now I have this tied to 21. And, and now the last piece, and then we are done, is this guy here. Okay, so again, we are going to get our part which is already clean uh, and we are going to get ultra gray and I'm going to make a thin bead in here so think like this right this is like that I need to seal this part here and this part here so that's what I'm gonna do here I'm going to get this uh, I hope you can see that all right it's like an L shape in here and I'm gonna get all of it and I'm going to get also in here all right and everything else is inside so don't need to worry too much and that's it there you go I'm gonna put my finger in there and make it smooth all right Clean a paper and one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some assembly lube in here because definitely we don't want this going on dry when it starts the engine and this goes right here that's pretty much it so we have the internal screws and the external ones the external ones are uh, 21 foot pound and the internal ones 8.9 so this is sort of internal one and this is the external so I'm going to treat them like that not good to happen this is not tightening Ooh. I don't know if you can see but this is what happened it took part of the uh, the metal so basically, trying to put this guy in there, 
and the problem is it is a uh, it goes down yep it won't it won't do anymore yeah nothing can be easy so I guess I'll need to get one larger than this one screw larger than that and expand this hole but try not to make the engine dirty vacuum that and then use that screw Woo. I finally decided to create to make three videos not create Marcos I finally decided to uh, make three different videos for the camshaft so camshaft part one was the internal uh, part so I retorque everything uh, this video was the cap number one and now we reach this problem this is my best the best shot ever look at how terrible I can feel what I felt at that moment but anyway um, if you want to see how I fix this watch the next video would be the camshaft uh, three out of three thanks for watching thanks for uh, subscribing to my channel if you didn't subscribe yet just do it uh, I appreciate it this gives me a hand uh, I was surprised again that I got more subscribers as we are talking so that's pretty awesome hit the like button subscribe to my channel and check out my blog www.carmodsgarage.com later later later